Hello everyone out there on YouTube, it's me John, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today, I'm going to be reviewing something that I made, but also a product. Let me grab the product for you. Should have had it in better reach. This product is called Bruzy Easy Peasy Wine and cider making kit or mead if you prefer uh, this product is a basically a make wine at your home and as easily as possible type product so I bought this kit over a year ago in this kit you get this booklet it just tells you like instructions and really basic information about like the very simplest easiest way to make wine at home you get name tags the name tags are for naming your wine so like you put this on the bottle um, both while you're brewing it or when you're bottling it. It just says, hi, my name is, and then it has the date on it. Um, you put the date on when you start making it. In the introductory, introductory package, you get three of these. This is called a bruisey bag. It basically has your yeast, your yeast nutrients, um, some other ingredients that, you know, make the, the yeast live longer or better uh, it has yeast yeast nutrients let me list what those things are yeast hydration blend um, bentonite potassium bicarbonate mellow lactic culture so little things uh, to try and help kill any bacteria that's in your brew that you don't want to contaminate uh, your wine with. Bentonite is a little bit of a clarifying agent, so it kind of makes the, the wine a little bit clearer. Your wine, your wine nutrients, all those things to help you make uh, the easiest wine you can um, with just a little bit of everything to help you out. Uh, mostly, the important part is the yeast and the yeast nutrient. So basically, you throw this into your big batch of whatever you're making and basically it's a liquid that has some type of sugar that the yeast can eat in mine which i have a how-to video that I, how how i made everything that i will be putting together and publishing that footage is over a year old because i started this may 6 2021 today is april 29th 2022 so it'll be over a year since I started this that you will see it. You also get, so you get three of these and you get three of these. So this is a um, bubbler, or you could call it, or like an airlock. I think that's what they call it, it's an airlock. It has like this little rubber um, stopper. You put this in your bottle that you're brewing your wine in. And it's a few parts. So it has that, and then it has this part. So this is, has a little bit, little hole there. You can plunge it in that way. You could also flip it over and put it inside of a that way if you have like a smaller top to it. And this will also fit on the top here. But most jars have a wider uh, top. Put that in there. You fill that up with water. The line. After you put this in, it helps the wine be made um, I also bought this stuff this is go clear also made by bruzy this doesn't come with the kit um, it's just another thing to clarify it has the bentonite that the regular mix has but it has some other stuff in it as well my how-to video goes over this stuff a little bit better I hope but just wanted to know what it was and this is the wine that I made this is a lemonade 
black tea wine. Um, in the how-to video, you'll see that I got both of those ingredients from a specific place that's known for both of those things. And I brewed it together. You can see there's a little bit of stuff on the bottom here. This has been sitting in my fridge for almost a full year now. And that's all the things that have settled to the bottom. Uh, I could probably do another filtration of this um, where you siphon it off into another bottle to get rid of that. But it didn't really matter too much to me as it was just going to be sitting in the fridge for a year. Um, I have already tasted this uh, because this is what just what I have left. Um, I shared it with some friends. But there is one interesting catch to this video. This right here is a mead from Alkalite, Alkalite Meadery. And this was bottled in 2021. I think a little bit after this one, but relatively the same time. This is called, they named it Arnold Paul Mead. Um, I named mine Open on Sunday. And you'll find out why if you watch my how-to whenever that comes out. But this is not made with Bruzy. This is made by my brother, who is part of the Acolyte Meadery. And he used traditional brewing methods for this. And I just realized I'm probably going to need a, cork for, a corkscrew for this. So I'm going to go grab one. And there we go. Anyway, so over a year, me and my brother had this idea. Well, I pitched it to him because I knew he brews wines and meads. That I would make a bruisey wine. I've never made any type of wine or anything before in my life. But bruisey says anyone can do it. So I did. My brother has been making meads for quite a while now, at least five or six years, I want to say, probably more than that. So I would like to say that he is a little bit more uh, perfected the art. So what we're going to do is I'm going to taste mine versus his, and we're going to see what bruisey and someone who's never done it before, how would that compare? to a more professional uh, creation. So first, let's open them both up. Um, his is going to take a little longer, so I'll start with that one. I've also been holding on to this one for a while now, too. I believe he gave me this at Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. I've had a lot of his wines and mead before, and I would say for the most part, they've all been very good. Uh, he also has made some beers that were very good. Um, he's made like one or two that weren't as great as others, uh, but he would be the first one to tell you before you even try it that he was probably not one of his best. Uh, let's go ahead and pour it out. Two similar glasses. I'm going to pour a couple ounces in there. Next to this bottle. Now over to mine. And the flip top. This is the time I didn't have any type of fancy bottles. I'm going to pour a couple ounces of this.
Here we go. This one is Arnold Palmeade, made by my brother. This one is the Open On Sunday that I made using the Bruzy package. You can see they are pretty similar in color. My, my Bruzy one has a little bit more of a haziness to it. His is a little more clear, maybe more yellow. Mine is a little, maybe a little more brown. Um, there is a lemon aspect, aspect and a tea aspect to both of these. Whereas I used just pre-made sweet lemonade and sweet tea and mixed them at a 50-50 ratio. Uh, my brother did not do that. I'm not sure the exact uh, methodology he used for it, but I know it's not what I did. Um, so there is, there's a lot of different aspects to this. I used Bruzy, he didn't. I am a beginner. He is a person who's done this for a while. And the specific ingredients were also different. So this is not like a one-to-one -one is Bruzy as good as someone making it. It's just a fun thing that I decided to do. Without further ado, let's give them a smell and give them a taste. We'll start with mine. The Bruzy Open on Sunday. It has a bit of a lemony alcohol smell to it. You get like a, a tart sourness of a lemon. And you get like a subtle bitterness from the black tea, I would suspect. It's not bad. I actually haven't tried this for a while. I actually drank most of it when it was fairly new. And I gotta say, aging it has done it some good. I would say it's not super dry, but it's on the dry side. There's definitely some residual sweetness to this. I will also say, um, I didn't put any like potassium sorbate or anything like that into this that would stop fermentation. Um, so that's why I kept this in the fridge for a year because at the point when I first started this and where I am now, I know a lot more about uh, wine making than I did then. Still not a ton, but I didn't make this preserved so that you could safely store it outside of uh, refrigeration. And here we go. This is my brother's Arnold Paul Mead. The smell on this is more sweet. It's got a softer taste to it. It says this is an 8.4 alcohol by volume. I believe when I tested mine, it was about a 12%. And there's a 4% difference, and I can definitely tell. When you taste this, it has a little bit more of a alcoholic flavor than this one. This one actually, you could be fooled to think isn't very alcoholic at all. The lemon isn't as tart. This tastes more like sweet lemon.
like a Meyer lemon. There's yeah, something else about it. Like I said, I don't know exactly what's in here, but it might be the tea that he used. It has a more herbaliness to it. So this is more of a, a, a soft lemon with an herbal quality to it. Almost like it would use more of a young tea, like a white tea. He did take some video, I believe, of this, and I'm encouraging him to publish that as a video of how he did this, just so uh, this video can have two companion videos where I show my process and he shows his. I don't know. I don't want it to come off as like I'm biased because this one's my own, but I'm actually enjoying mine a little bit better than his. I like the little bit of sour that this has. It's not like it's gone bad sour. It's very palatable sour and the the tea component of that is just more like you get this sour followed by this little bitterness at the end that like reminds you of like a black tea this one this one tastes like it was made with like a Meyer lemon really fresh Meyer lemons and maybe I can I don't know what tea he used but it tastes more like herbal than black tea it has a more softer rounder taste mine is a little more sharp on the tart I don't know I don't know brother Yours looks better. It's clearer. The color looks more like a, a white wine. Mine looks like it could use a little bit more filtration to it. But I'm drinking them. And I enjoy mine better. that sharp lemony tartness finishes with like this bitter tea note not like super bitter just like enough that like there's something there what is it and I know it's tea someone else tasting it might not This one tastes like more like a, a sweet lemon. Like if you put a bunch of lemon drops and lemon peels into a beverage and let it soak. But it's not that sweet. It's more like just lemon peels with maybe like 
fresh tea leaves also in there. Not aged, not roasted tea leaves, just like a fresh tea leaf. Because it tastes really like plucked from the tree, herbal. Neither one of them are terrible. I enjoy both of them. I think I enjoy mine just a little bit more. And with that being said, Bruzy. Not a sponsor, but Bruzy, if you are watching this and you want to sponsor me, or just send me a, a, a check, you can write that out to me because I'm showing the world just like how me as an unexperienced person took your product, made something, and at least to me, it tasted as good or better than someone who made uh, quite a few more than I have. That's not to say that he hasn't made things that are better than both of these, because that is definitely true. Uh, maybe this just wasn't his best one. I don't know. It's not bad, though. Don't kill me on this, brother. You did a decent job at this. I would have drank this. You handed it to me, which you did, and I'm gonna. I know you were very skeptical of the bruisey, but maybe you might have to rethink it now. Because the, my first brew here, I did pretty good. And I just finished my second brew maybe a week or two ago. And I bottled that up. I have two full wine bottles and a half of a wine bottle. I'm going to pop that half a wine bottle for a special video soon. So you're going to see that one as well. I'm going to age the other two bottles. See what that tastes like in a couple of years as well. Maybe just a full year. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to make wine at your own house, go to the Bruzy website. I don't have any promo codes for you because... I'm not sponsored, but if at some point that changes, I'll sure to put that in the co in the uh, doobly doo below the video. Hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Fat Hipster channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. No kids in this one.